Hi, I'm Dr. James Welsh, Assistant Conductor with the El Paso Symphony Orchestra, and we want to continue to welcome you to our 89th season, providing excellent orchestral music here on the borderland where the arts thrive. Now make sure that you join us on January 17th and 18th, starting at 7.30 p.m. in the Plaza Theater, just a few short days away, to see a wonderful collaboration between the El Paso Symphony and a local fan favorite, Zul Bailey, the Grammy Award-winning cellist. Now we'll hear works by Camille Saint-Saëns in his Cello Concerto No. 1 in A minor and Tchaikovsky's Variations on a Rococo Theme. Even though that latter piece was written during a particularly grievous depression of Tchaikovsky's because it saw so many musical failures in his life between the 4th and the 5th symphony, it is light and airy and an homage to Mozart, one of his all-time role models. One of the other pieces that we'll hear is the music of Antonin Dvorak the Czech composer in his Seventh Symphony, a particularly dark one. This music is the most international, musically speaking, of Dvorak's pieces. He had just heard and was impressed by Johannes Brahms' Third Symphony. And it was so fortuitous that at that same time, the London Philharmonic Society asked him to write a symphony and inducted him as an honorary member. Now, even though this came at sort of, as he noted in the bottom of his second movement during the sad years, due to the loss of his mother and his eldest child, it does have some sense of lifting quality to it. And it speaks to the conflict within Dvorak himself to, to bring the lighthearted nature of his countrymen in musical form, but also to raise the Czech people up and bring that nation to the forefront in his concept of Czech nationalism. This music is fabulous, and it is being fabulously played by the El Paso Symphony Orchestra. Make sure you come on January 17th and 18th, not only hear that wonderful symphony, but the wonderful cello stylings of Zul Bailey. Thanks so much.